Day five. Should we really give Mary everything? Part one. Heavenly Father, we come to you right now and we ask for your blessing upon this time, upon learning about Our Lady, Lord Jesus, upon learning about your most blessed mother. We ask that the Holy Spirit may be with us and guide our thoughts and our hearts. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Um, I just want to take a second right now. Um, if you can take a moment and just have silence and be with our Lord. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful. Enkindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created. And thou shalt renew the face of the earth. O God, who taught the hearts of the faithful by the light of the Holy Spirit, grant that by the same spirit, the spirit of truth, we may always be truly wise and ever rejoice in his consolations. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Should we really give Mary everything? Part 1. The second part of de Montfort's formula of consecration says that we should give Mary everything, including our interior, interior and spiritual goods, which are our merits and our virtues and our good works past, present, and future. Isn't this a bit too much? No, it's perfect. It's beautiful. Let's see why by learning how the offering affects others and ourselves. In regard to others, when we fully consecrate ourselves to Mary, we lose the unconditional right to distribute the value of our prayers and good actions to others. In other words, we give the rights to the grace, merit, of our prayers to Mary. We're telling her, Mary, I give you the right to distribute the grace of my prayers as you see fit. Making such a gift to Mary has a big benefit. It ensures that the grace of our prayers will be used in the best possible way. It works like this. Because of her unique vantage point from heaven, and on account of her most intimate communion with her divine son, Mary can best determine which people are most in need of our prayers. For instance, seeing some forgotten person in China about to die in despair, Mary can take the grace of our prayers and offered up sufferings and use it to help that dying person to trust in God and accept his mercy. Now, perhaps this idea has got some of us thinking, well, that's great. I'm happy to help the dying person in China, whom I don't know, but I'd be disappointed if I therefore couldn't use the grace of my prayers and good works to help the people I do know, like my family and friends. I'm worried that if I give Mary the right to distribute the grace of my prayers and good works, then I thereby lose the right to pray for those whom I especially love even if they're less in need than other people in the world. This is a legitimate concern, but there's no need to worry. Why? For two reasons. First, Mary makes the good things we give 
to her more perfect. In other words, she augments, increases, and purifies the spiritual gifts and merits we give her. When we give them to her because she makes them more perfect, there's more grace and merit to go around. St. Louis uses an unforgettable analogy to explain this. It is as if a peasant wishing to gain the friendship and benevolence of the king went to the queen and presented her with a fruit, which was his whole revenue, in order that she might present it to the king. The queen, having accepted the poor little offering from the peasant, would place the fruit on a large and beautiful dish of gold, and so, on the peasant's behalf, would present it to the king. Then the fruit, however unworthy in itself to be a king's present, would become worthy of his majesty because of the dish of gold on which it rested and the person who presented it. Here's the second reason we shouldn't worry. Mary is never outdone in generosity. She isn't, let me tell you. So if we're generous, as to give her the right to distribute the grace of our prayers and good works, she'll surely be especially generous to our loved ones. In fact, she'll take even better care of our loved ones than we ourselves can. For instance, let's say one of our family members or friends is in need of prayer, and we don't know it. Well, Mary knows it, and she'll make sure that that person doesn't go without. Giving Mary the right to distribute the grace of our prayers and good works doesn't mean we can't still pray for our loved ones. We can and should pray for them. It's just that we give Mary the final say in deciding to whom and for what purpose the grace of our prayers and good works should be applied. Remember, Mary is not outdone in generosity. She especially hears the prayers of those of us who have given her everything including the value of all our good works. And she wants us to tell her of the people and intentions we hold in our hearts. If we've given her everything, is there any doubt that she'll be generous in giving whatever good we ask for those who are dear to us? Come Holy Spirit living in Mary, help me be generous in giving all I have to marry. Blessed Mother, we're afraid. We're scared. We're unsure of ourselves and giving ourselves to you. We want to pray for those whom we know we need to pray for. So help us to trust that, that you can see that you're with your son looking down from heaven upon everyone that is so in need of prayer. Help us to trust that you can distribute all of our good works, all of our merits, all of our sufferings that we offer up, all of our prayers, all of the joy that we offer up, all of everything in our life that we offer up, that you'll distribute it in the most perfect way because you're with your son and you know what is needed. Thank you, Jesus, for your mother. We ask that you bring understanding to all of this. We ask that you affirm this grace of consecrating ourselves to your blessed mother in our life. Give us clear affirmation, Lord Jesus, especially those of us who are so, so hesitant, who are still unsure and still trying to understand this whole thing. Help us to trust. Help us to allow Our Lady, Mary, to be our mother as you allowed her to be. We ask you, Blessed Mother, to continue to pray for us and continue to help us to understand. Um, we ask all the angels and saints in heaven, especially those who had a devotion to the Blessed Mother, to continue to bring clarity and understanding and prayers for perseverance upon this consecration. I know so many things are trying to get in the way of stopping us, of, of building up walls on this consecration, and this consecration is so powerful. It's so powerful. So please, please break down the walls of Satan. Break down the walls of the enemy by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power of his most precious blood. 
by the power of his passion, death, and a resurrection, most glorious resurrection, that we may be able to be with him one day, that we may be able to persevere on this earth to praise and to glorify him. We come now and we do pray for our families and friends and we offer up our prayers to you. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, we pray and we ask all of these things through the intercession of Our Lady. As we pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate, sorrowful, and powerful heart of Mary, pray for us. Help us to understand the words that are said to our hearts, Lord Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Okay, you guys, we're almost there. Well, we're not almost there, but we are getting there. All right, day five. Woo! <laughs> Praise Jesus. All right, go listen to some worship music. Actually, go um, answer the questions. They're going to be in the description or the comments, or both, okay? And then listen to some worship music, okay? And read scripture, okay? All right, cheers. Okay, God bless you, bye.